Just a quick note at the start of this video, the two snare drums you're going to see, one is a D. Conaway snare drum. That apparently was a company in Houston, Texas in the 2000s. The man's name was Dave Conaway from the research that we did. The other snare drum, this custom stave snare drum, we don't know who made that and don't know if the person that my dad got it from knows who it is, but check it out in the video anyway. Both of these are really cool, possibly one of a kind snare drums. Hey, it's Grady at Twin Creek Audio, back in the studio, and today I've got my dad with us. This is Gary, and we're gonna test out some snare drums. What all snare drums did you bring today? I brought two today. One is a custom stave snare. I used to know what the wood is made of, but I, I don't remember what the wood is. It's, a, it's an exotic wood. Um, and I don't know who who made it, but it's a uh, it's got pearl hardware on it, and the shell is the custom made part, and it just uh, it sounds really good. It's got a good warm tone. I don't know how well tuned it is right at the moment, but we'll find out. Great. You brought another one and too. And then I brought another one. Yeah, this one. Oh, by the way, we're going to be doing more snare drum videos than just this one. This is just the two for today. This is a this is a Conway. It's a solid copper shell. Uh, it's got the uh, cast hoops. And it's made by T.D. Conaway Drum Company, which I believe is now out of business. They're no longer making drums. But... Um, yeah, I can see that sticker down there. Mm -hmm, it's got a sticker in it. But I don't know a whole lot about it other than I bought it from a man in Houston that... Uh, got it I, I don't know how he got it or where but it's a neat drum and it sounds great it's really nice now, i put the rims on because i like the cast rims on a, on a metal snare just really tightens the sound up so we'll see well, i'm going to get some close-ups of these and we'll show you some close-ups and then we're going to put it up on the snare stand and let you hear what each of these sound like uh, by itself and going to have him play the whole kit with these snares so we can see what these things sound like. So this is oh. the... This is the, the a, stave, a snare. stave snare. And what that means is the, the pieces of wood that they made the shell out of, they ran the grain this way and they put it together like a whiskey barrel. So it's a, a, quite a few small slices of wood that they glued and put together and then finished. And they're real thick. Um, you can see here how thick the shell is. Mm -hmm. It's really close to a half inch thick. Pure sound? Pure sound, that's it. Pure mm -hmm. sound snare. Okay. And the hardware, I believe, is all pearl. I know the throw off so is. Is this made by a, a particular, well, the pearl, I can see pearl there, mm -hmm. but is this made by pearl or is no, this? No, this is a custom. It's a custom made custom drum. drum. They used pearl hardware uh, to put on the shell, but the man that I got this from uh, actually built the shell. Hmm. Custom snare drums. This is the D. Conway copper snare drum. I know it just says D. Conway. Yeah, you can see it's it a little a, bit from here. Let me. And it's got a little that's outline of a drum set on the tag. It's a really cool little logo. Yeah, I looked it up, and, and the guy uh, made drums for quite a while. I think he was in Nashville. Um, it's either Nashville or Memphis, but I think it was Nashville. And he made uh, custom drums for people for quite a while and had a pretty good reputation, and I really don't know what happened to him. I did some research, and it's just like he just kind of vanished and quit making them. So I guess I, it it may be fairly rare. I don't I don't even know if uh, he made very many solid copper drums or not. It's pretty. Flip it over. Let's look at the bottom of it. See if there's any. There's really not. Well, you might. You can see the badge under here better. Can you? Yeah, you can see through that bottom head easier than the top one. Let's see if I can just get it to focus better. There. Yeah, you can see that D Conway. 
I have to flip that upside down because mm -hmm. in this, this direction, it's upside down. Yeah. I can flip it. Okay. Sunlight snare head on the bottom and an Evans. Mm-hmm. Evans. Uh, level 360. 360. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. And this, I don't know what kind of hardware this is. I don't see a name on it anywhere. But it works well. The drawer off is pretty mm -hmm. solid. It's got a got this snare adjustment right here. And then the other side is just a standard clamp. That's uh ten ten lugs, so it's a you know it's a decent drum. Tunes up really nice. I don't know what kind of shape the tuning is in right now, but we'll find out shortly. So first we're gonna try which one? The, the stave, the stave snare. snare? Yep. Okay, great. Let's uh, let's try that one out. Sounds good. It's gonna hit the snare in the center. Now towards the middle of the edge. We're gonna try the D Conway copper shell snare. It's solid copper shell. Solid copper shell, D Conway. These are both custom snares. They're really cool. Probably none of you have seen these, so that's why we're showing them to you in this video. It's a one of a kind. I'm gonna hit the center first. And then out to the middle.
say well, maybe that, a little bit about doing some more of these. Yeah, we're going to do some more snare drum demos. Uh, we just did two this time because that's re really reasonably, that's all I can fit in one video without it getting just long and being hard to put together. Yeah. Between me. you and myself, we probably have 12 different or 13 different snare drums to, to try. So definitely. We've There's... got three little piccolo, piccolo snares. We've got deeper snares. We've got that Rogers Dynasonic. Yeah, Dynasonic. Can, I've, got a, I've got a power tone here yeah. too that I've talked about in some of the videos, but I've never actually shown it on the channel. We could even do both of those and compare the two. Yeah, so we're going to have a lot more drum, snare drums yeah. in particular, because we've got a lot of those coming up on future videos to show you here on the Twin Creek Audio YouTube channel. So make sure that you like this video. If you like snare drum demos, because we're going to do more of them, also subscribe to the Twin Creek Audio YouTube channel. And don't forget to check all the links in the video description for ways to help support this channel. Well, yeah, we can use your support. Absolutely. <laughs> Always need some support here on the channel. And I wanted to say thanks to my dad, Gary, for being here, bringing the snare drums. Gary will no be problem. back with more drums and probably other cool stuff. Hopefully think, a bunch of cymbals that we'll yeah, try. Yeah, cymbals. We're going to do some cymbal videos, too. And I could do the big DW kit if we ever decided to. That'd be fun. We got a lot of things we could do. So y'all come back, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of the upcoming drum and cymbal videos, among the other videos that I do, guitars and mixing and all that cool stuff. Mm -hmm. So make sure to check all those links in the description, support us here on the channel, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope that you all have an excellent day, night, evening, weekend, weekday, hour, minute, second, nanosecond, whatever it is you're having, have a good one. Thanks so much for watching. Goes for me too. All right.